What's up, everybody? Pack Bros are back. I'm Rob. I'm Chris. And today we're breaking the highly awaited 23-24 Opeachy. This is Connor Bedard rookie year content. Um, and I'll be honest, I've broken a couple packs of this already. I really like this Opeachy product. Lots of good stuff inside. There is a hobby exclusive one of one gold rainbow foil board parallel, which means there is a one of one Connor Bedard floating around somewhere. Uh, the marquee rookies from Opeachy traditionally haven't been worth a whole ton of money, uh, but I've already seen some sales on this. is We're filming this on release date, uh, which is uh, Mar or February 7th, and um, they're going for 75 bucks a piece Canadian off the jump, which is pretty impressive. It's pretty insane. For, for a kid who's really only played, what, 20, 30 games, and now he's got a broken jump? That steam ran real quick. Yep. Um, but he's gonna be special regardless, and I wish him a speedy recovery. Uh, 18 packs per box, 10 cards per pack. Opeachy is Opeachy. It does look like they've added a bit more value now where they've mm -hmm. put in one all star or marquee rookie per pack. They're calling it high series, so basically the base series is one to 500, then everything above 500 is short printed. Okay. Uh, some of them will be all star players, some of them will be marquee rookies. Um, and I believe that marquee rookie list is. Uh, so it's probably like some it's it's a combination of all stars and marquee rookies for an extra hundred. So anything from five hundred one to six hundred, either a rookie or an all star variation. You think it's split 50-50? I doubt it. Probably seventy five twenty five. I wouldn't even say it's a straight split. I'd say it's something stupid. Like, okay. Depending on how many all stars they had and how many rookies they had, they filled the rest. Like eight ninety two. Something like that. Okay. Then now, you start on this one. I'll start, but I want to run something by you guys, and I want to hear you in the comment section below. A lot of people are discussing if they should sit on this product or hold the product or whatever the case may be. You know, McDavid, there's still um, Young Guns boxes of McDavid floating around. We're, we're you know, almost 10 years after. Uh, but let me ask you this, and this is kind of funny and interesting. I don't know what your thoughts are on this. I, I personally, in this area where we live, in, you know, the, the greater Toronto area, I have never seen a 1516 Opeachy box. Like in person? Never. No, uh, no like, oh, just like, anywhere. like nobody sat on it. Oh, yeah. I see the Young Guns boxes selling, you know, they, they were selling up for like almost three grand at one point. Yeah, yeah, that's Of true. the McDavid year. I don't see any Opeachy boxes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird because I feel like Opeachy is so heavily produced. Usually Opeachy is the most produced because the base set is freaking 500 cards. Yeah, for it's, God's it's, sake. it's a, it's a, it's a set collector's yeah, set. Exactly. Essentially. Exactly. So I'm just surprised I don't see more 15, 16 Opeachy. Yeah. To be honest, uh, to, to recognize that McDavid year. We're leading off with a checklist, which is always my favorite way of doing it. Fantastic. Uh, you know, let, let, we'll go over the design very quickly. Pretty straightforward, you know, Opeachy, the cardboard type card. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's clean. It looks nice. And I've seen some pretty good quality so far. Starting off with an Opeachy Premier insert of Clayton Keller. A marquee rookie of Marco Casper. That's actually not a bad rookie to pull. Uh, Chandler Stevenson Retro. And some more base in the back. I do remember 2022-23 Opeachy. I believe we opened, I want to say two boxes of it. And we also opened 2021-22. The jump in quality and just ex the fun of opening 2022 compared to 2021 was almost night and day. I predicted yeah. a huge improvement from those two years. And I think that was a fantastic time to see that improvement because my assumption is that improvement is carrying over into 2023-24 with Bedard, which you really can't, you can't afford to screw up with any Bedard products. Historically, it is going to be yeah. so sought after. Yes. It, like, if, let, let's say hypothetically Bedard came out in 2021, there was that 2021-22 Opeachy. Yeah. I'd be pissed. Yeah. Because that set was not great. Yeah. But the 2022, that, that was pretty fun. That was a pretty awesome open. I just feel like it's very simple. I mean, you don't reinvent Opeachy. That's not the thing that you do. You just add more value to it. A little bit more value. And they've done that. They've added parallels. They've added short prints. Yep. Because historically, I opened Opeachy back in 11-12, and it was literally like retros, rookies, and maybe every other box you got a random crappy auto. Yeah. And that was it. There was no numbered cards, nothing like that. Um, it was it was it was definitely more set collecty focused. Mm -hmm. We have a well, let's just avoid that. Uh, Tyson <laughs> Forster, marquee rookie, and a Colin Miller retro. Oh, we got three D marquee rookies. I don't even know what that is. So one in eight hundred and sixty four packs. Oh, nice. Michael Matheson, Brett Pesci, Dougie Hamilton, Colin, Connor oh. Hellebook. So that's that all-star uh, short print. That's in yep. place of the marquee rookie. So you're going to get one of these or a marquee rookie every single pack. Okay. Blue of Logan O'Connor. I saw Connor on the Hellebook card. I got really excited. <laughs> that's going to happen a and lot. Hugh Suter retro. So far, not that great. But you're getting like two, three hits per pack. So 
Not bad at the same time. We should also mention we have three boxes of these, so this is just part one. Yes, part one. Valinaki, Backland, Jackson Lacombe, Marky Rookie, Blue of Trevor Zegris, and a retro of Philip Grubauer. That first hit comes quick. Mm -hmm. Looking for Bedard. Where is Connor? Johnny Gaudreau, Thomas Hurdle, Opeachy Premier of Marc Andre Fleury, Marky Rookie of Samuel Bolduc, and Rasmus Anderson on the retro. Dylan Dubé, Taylor Hall, Ken Fowler, Teresenko, Gunther. Ellie, if you're watching this, if we pull any more of this guy, we'll send him over to you, okay? JJ Moser, Thomas Novak, Eric Carlson, Mackie Samoskovich. Damn, I'm Marky I'm Rookie. Impressed you got that. Noel Achari, red, not numbered, just short print, and Jacob Silverberg. Sometimes you just gotta sound it out. I've or, been trying that for years. Or you gotta nudge a buddy. Don't you remember reading buddies back in the day? Oh, yeah. You gotta nudge a buddy. Sometimes. Yeah. That's a strategy if you don't have the word right. I remember that. Sound it out and nudge a buddy. John Marino, Shane Pinto, Riley Smith, Bo Horvat All Stars, Blake Wheeler Blue, Josh Norris Retro, This Box Sucks. <laughs> so far. Listerinen, Kevin Hayes, Jason Robertson, Clayton Keller, Four of Hearts, Marquee Rookie of Emile Andre, and a Retro Rookie of Matthew Coronado. Not bad. My last pack. We got something. Ben Chiro, Jordan Stahl, Pavel Zaka. It's just the premier of Ilya Sorokin. <laughs> Pasternak All-Star, Retro Yanni Hakonko. Well... Sometimes it's a hit. Sometimes it's Elias Sorokin. You know what they say. Sometimes it's Sorokin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorokin. And other, other times it's Ilya. All right. Going into the second half of this LPG box, we have James Van Riemsdyk, Cody Glass. Whoa! I saw Chicago. Yeah. Wyatt Caser. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. God damn it, Wyatt. A black. It's out of 100. Joel Erickson. All the blacks are out of 100. Yeah. Correct. Okay, first numbered card. Uh, Stuart Skinner on the retro. It's all for that pack. And the next one. Mika Zibanejad. Elias Lindholm. Dakota Joshua. Cover yes! card! On the marquee rookie. Put that to immediately. Justin Schultz behind him. No love for Schultz. Okay, feel a little better. There it is. Hey. We got the Bedard. PSA is going to get so sick of seeing those cards. Oh, yeah. I think it's a little bit off to the right. Send it. If you want to. I will right, we'll take a look. Take a little peek. Continue to break. I think it's slightly off right. Uh, Justin Schultz on the blue. Linus Olmark on the retro. It's actually hard to tell because of the border and the way they did it. Mm -hmm. Darcy Kemper. Yeah, I would agree. Dylan Strom. It is not a gradable card. Drujar Kyra. Seven of Clubs, Joe Pavelski, Alexander Barkov on the All-Star, a rookie retro of Matthew Poitras, Connor Dewar, that's all we got there. We got the Bedard, we got a black border out of 100, still got some packs to go, we could we could still see some more fire coming up. Matthew nice, Nice. that's a good one. On the marquee rookie. Matthew Nice. I'm not sure what his young guns are going for right now, but I remember like He's a, down right a month now. ago I checked and it was like 70-ish. No, not anymore. Oh. He's, he's down. That's upsetting. But he, still... he peaked around 60, 70. Mm. Still, not a bad one. That should be numbered that Anders Lee. Purple Anders Lee. Numbered at 49. Yeah. I'll take that. Uh, retro of Jordan Martinuk. All right. Next pack. Evan Bouchard. Ross Colton. Gustav Forsling. Ooh! Ooh. What is that? I don't know. Where is the box? Kevin Fiala screw, behind. Screw Kevin Fiala. Wayne Gretzky. I don't need... W-WG. It's a wood card. I know that. But... I'm curious as to what the... Is it thin? Poor it is. It is thin. It is thin. That's a cool looking card. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that in the special pile. While you uh, you should put it on the sleeve is what you should put it in. Okay, okay. It doesn't even say. Also, this is the worst like checklist I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> no, it is like they didn't put anything. Uh, twenty twenty three All Stars, Kevin Fiala, 
Maxime Comtois on the retro. That's just a rare chase card, I think. I don't even know. I think so. It looks really nice, too. It's really good. Next pack. TJ Yoshi, William Carlson, Nick Schmaltz. Whoops. Uh, Jonathan Taves on oh, the poker man, card. I, I saw Michael... Chicago. I saw Rookie. I saw all kinds of things happening over there. <laughs> Michael Kesselring on the marquee rookie. Retro of Brendan Dillon. Three packs left. Looks like I got all the good packs out of this one. Yeah, you did. Charlie McAvoy. Ryan Strom. Tyler Toffoli. Marquee rookie of Igor Afan... Afanasyev. Afanasyev. Owen Beck on the oh. marquee rookie. Is it? Wait, is that? Flip it. Is it rainbow? Is that one of one? Oh no! Oh, out of a hundred. I, I saw. I've never still. seen a gold one of one, so still. I had no idea. But that's pretty sick. That's a pretty good pull. Uh, Martin Neckis on the retro. I wish that was a Bedard, but next pack. We should also update you guys now. We now have a laptop off to the side where yes. we're going to be doing some mid uh, video research. Yes. So we can get some more uh, accurate information out to you. Also, so we don't sound like idiots because we make a lot of mistakes. True. Because we're not professionals. We will still sound like idiots, just a little bit less. True. Sam Steele, Nikita Kucherov on the All-Stars, Lucas Raymond on the Blue Border, Matthew Barzal on the Retro. Last pack. I don't really feel like we need last pack luck here, but if you'd like to give last. it to us. Always last pack luck. Then, uh, then please hit that like button for last pack luck. Yamamoto, Zach Cassian, Emil Bemstrom, Jack Hughes on the All Stars, Jack Hughes on the Blue All Stars. Okay. Hey, can that happen with uh, Bedard, please? That'd be great. And Marcus Pedersen on the Retro. So that's that. Okay. That half was ridiculous. Hold on. I'm going to double check the back of my cards here. Hold on here. All right. Nothing special on the back of my cards. So, I come to you with an update. First of all, this Owen Beck card is uh, pretty good. I don't know exactly how he's playing for the Canadians, but I recall his name, so that's a nice hit. This is called Woody's. That's the insert. Mm -hmm. That's called. Uh, this existed in... Um, well, they've done it historically as an insert set. The only comp I can find is from 1516. Gretzky, Woody's. Uh, graded 9.5. And it sold for 300 bucks. Damn. So, it is that a looks good too. secret short print. OPG does this sometimes. They throw in the sets that they haven't declared. I have no idea what the pull rate of this is. I don't think anybody does. Uh, there's none on eBay. But, I mean, that's a... I mean, your half of the box was solid. Yeah. Mine sucked. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that, that is a Gretzky Woody's insert. Sick. That was very good. Overall, very, very nice. I'm happy. Uh, that was a nice... A, a good OPG box. Um... I don't know what more to say. I think that's that's great. There's lots of value there. I was really worried with my half of the box, but yours came through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let us know if you know more about the Woody's insert. I don't know if they've done it in multiple Apici products over time. I've, I've honestly never really seen that card. I'm sure there's more than Gretzky in that subset. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way this box went. Uh, thumbs up for me. If you agree, smash that thumbs up button as well. And if you like what you see here, subscribe because we got two more Apici boxes. One more? Two more? Two more. Two more peachy boxes coming at you. Uh, and you're going to have to subscribe to see when those get posted. So, uh, yeah, for now, the pack rolls are out of packs. So we're out of time. We'll see you guys later.